Hello everyone. Today I'll be cooking a nibble that goes well with sake by using this person. This is a sake from Kowegik Sake Brewery in Saga Prefecture, which just came out this fall called Kibo. The name Kibo means the night near the full moon. That's why the label has the moon on it. This sake style is called Murokan Nama Genshu, which means unfiltered raw sake that has not been filtered, heated, or hydrated. The alcohol content is 12 degrees, which is pretty low among normal sake. This brewery is my personal favorite, so I can't wait to taste this too. So, first of all, I'm taking a sip of this to decide what should I make. There was a caution of spillage on the label, so open it carefully. Oh, yeah. This sounds amazing. It's not like hazy, but it is so clear. So let's get tasted. This is really good. First, the umami and the sweetness of rice were tasted. And then the citrus sourness like grapefruit. And the mellow and the sweet fruity taste like apricot spread in my mouth. And it feels like I'm riding a roller coaster. Like the moon cycle, the taste increases as the days go by. And if you drink it for about two weeks, you can finally feel the original taste. The time of exploring the fridge is always exciting with the mind like, what should I make? Or what kind of nibble will go well with the sake? So, okay, this time, I will use Pelsman, of course, then basil, which is change color in the fridge, cream cheese, and this one, spring roll wrappers. So this time, I will make a special spring rolls. Let's cut the persimmon first. This persimmon was quite ripe, so I'm cutting it into small pieces first, and then peel it off. Yes, it looks delicious. Sorry, I couldn't wait, so I ate the piece. But if you make your fruit yourself, you won't get angry by anyone. Then cut it into blocks like this. Mmm, this one is pretty delicious too. Put the persimmon in a bowl and next the basil. Take a few leaves and then chop roughly. Next, cream cheese. Bring to room temperature in advance and stir once to avoid lumps. Looks like this. And then it's go time. I'm gonna mix them all. Like this. Didn't have enough sweetness, so I added a little bit of sugar. And time to wrap. Sorry for breathing heavily. I was too excited to eat and drink. By the way, this plastic bag is the hardest to open in the world. I bet I ended up tearing this up. I thought one whole sheet is too big, so I cut it in half. But either one was fine. Maybe use one whole sheet. And 
And it doesn't matter how you rap, if it tastes good, that's a correct answer. And let's fry it. Put oil in a pan and heat to 160 degrees. Check the degrees by your intuition or by putting the tip of chopstick in oil to see if there are tiny bubbles or by actually touching it. Okay, let's put the spring rolls. I don't recommend you to touch the food immediately after putting them in the oil. I recommend you to watch it with warm eyes like watching Cube Baby. When the surface is beautiful brown, take it to the tray. I'm going to cut the spring rolls. Mmm, yummy. Let's have on a plate and stack them up with a great joy. Just to be looking good, put the basil on the top. And that's it. So, let's eat now. But, before that, don't forget preparing the sake. Yes! I am finally ready. Let's eat. Hell yeah! Before saying anything, I grab a sake cup. Everyone wants to scream for victory. This is exactly what I wanted to feel. The sourness of sake and spring rolls go perfect together. The mild sweetness of cheese and parsley does not erase the sweetness of sake. And you can enjoy both tastes at the same time. Aftertaste of basil flavor is also interesting. It was pretty easy to drink sake when I tried. But with this nibble, it becomes surprisingly smooth. Like a Pulse drink. It was really delicious. And I would appreciate if you could share your recommended recipes. See you soon.